How we do how it is? Welcome back to another episode of Top Talk with the Uncommon Breed. I'm your boy LJ and we got Kid Raw. You did this in the last episode. You forgot his name again. How the fuck? Boy, that's it. Oh, he tired, you got tired. a bird, a special episode with a bird today. <laughs> I identify this, so... Good. <laughs> I identify as a trolley cart. Can't handle the shit, step out the kitchen. Got Heisenberg cooking up his batch of blue poison. Every rapper wants to try and be a world champion. Try me, I'ma buy you out like it's fractured. Old school to no school, I'm resurrected. All these rappers in the game too close-minded. Lyrics are illogical and too jaded. This is a different game, bruh. Y'all too the loot. Right, so welcome back to another episode. So we're going to be talking about something very interesting across the, uh, the music world. The music across sphere. the globe. Yeah, the music across the globe, across, I think it's a common practice among a lot of big labels, uh, fake streams, right? Mm. Either on Spotify or uh, Apple Music or whichever other streaming platform, right? So we're going to be talking uh -huh. about streaming, uh, yards, we're going to be talking about what the what looked into live and what comes out online, two different worlds, right? Uh, based on their fan base and stuff like that. So, to get started, who wants to get started about fake streams? I'll go first. Let's go. Let's start with how they fake how they fake stream. <laughs> <laughs> how, they, how, they, how they falsify the streams on Spotify. Um, it right. all started with SMM. This this thing they do online for like um, Instagram. Remember when Instagram had like buy followers, buy likes, buy okay. views. It all started from there, and eventually it evolved into fake streaming, mm. which nowadays major labels use to their advantage. How they do it is by mostly stream farming, because yep. where they they have like they outsource it to China, mm. where they have like. People, you know, like, like hundred thousand pressing phones and, and pressing yes, or they do it with bots on servers where they lie the location, they add VPN to it and shit like that, yep. which people the Spotify punya servers lah, right, right, and they don't know how to do it, and yeah, labels do it a lot. Yes, labels do it massively. I mean, I think it's all about perspective. Right, whether you are a fan, artist, or a businessman who handling the label, mm -hmm. if you're on the label side, you're winning. Of course, oh, because, definitely. because okay. for a business, yeah, yeah for but a business it makes sense because it's like an infinite right? money glitch. Especially in the entertainment yeah, industry, it's, it's a return of investment, right? Yeah, depends yeah. on how much you invest, how much you get back. You have to look at that as a number, yeah. right? So for an artist, it's either you win or you lose, because some. Okay, like it or not, majority of artists in Malaysia especially don't know anything about the dark side of labels. Ooh. Right? Ooh. How they run shit. Ooh. Right? Um, to me, I think advertising is is a tool, whether if you look at it as a cheating marketing. or not. Yeah, marketing. Yeah. All right? Because marketing. some people will look at it, oh, this guy is cheating. No, it's not. It's, it's good for the business. It's good for the so you're saying. Yeah. It's good for business. Again, it's all about perspective. Yeah. So if you look at it as cheating, you're because right. It's, at the end of the day, it's a fame game. You got to make your artist look sure, big as, sure. a, as a label, sure. right? Yeah. So yeah. there's no right or wrong here, right? Okay, okay. That's a good way to look at it. Uh-huh. Uh, I think basically... I think it's wrong. I, okay, sure, I, I, sure, I, I don't really, think it's wrong. Sure. I think it's it's borderline pelik. Mm -hmm. Why I say it's pelik is because, like, for example, like if you look at what are the effects of extremes, right? Uh, Lil Baby cancelled 10 show tours due to low ticket sales, mm -hmm. right? The Baby did buy one free, one ticket. This is big artists, yeah? Like we see on Spotify, we see... You, you look at them, they're like averaging about 30 million listeners on Spotify, mm -hmm. right? So generally, I get it, 30 million, maybe not in the US, maybe 30 million across the globe, but you should be able to pull at least, at least, 1,500 people in the room. Oh, sure. Right? Yeah. You should, yeah, yeah. 0. Should 0. 0. 0. Right? 0. 0. 0.05. And we normally talk about like what, 20% at least from the total amount lah, right? Yeah. Tapi, when you do fake streams, mm -hmm. 
And then tiba tiba this sort of shit happens and you want to do a show mm. and you get like 50 orang datang, satu orang datang. I think that part is getting out of control lah because nobody's gatekeeping this kind of situation. So everybody was like, "Oh, you're doing that? Okay, I'm doing this shit." And everyone's doing it. Yeah, it's especially the major label become a norm lah. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm. Okay. So, suckers being suckers. Damn. And just like personal experience just to share with you guys. I've realized this because I pernah dapat group dekat Telegram. Mm-hmm. Right, like they invite you to a random ass group, right, and ask you to follow or like or view a video. Oh yeah, I still get it now. Right, you see, yeah, we, yeah. we do get it. Right, and yeah. I think this is the 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 farms that that reach out. To yeah, which is like people. bots. Ah, uh, yeah. bots lah. Like, it's not really bots. We're not bots. We're real people. But yeah. uh, I'm paying you like, for example, twenty bucks to go and like. Uh, oh yeah. Do this. Yep. Exercise for yep. this particular page, right? Mm-hmm. And in perspective, I think it also works that way with Spotify streams. Right, they well, will have people who either they have like you say like a streaming farm, or you reach out to a ton of people to just play the song one time, uh-huh. or play the song twice, or two times, right? And I pay you like yeah, 500 ringgit or whatever, right? Okay, I have a question, oh. right? So everybody, everybody been saying, oh, uh, I wanna uh, market my song uh, organically, mm. right? What is organic? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. What is organic? Organic is mean you don't use fake streams. Okay, what if you're telling your friend, "Hey, can you share this? Is it organic?" Yeah, it is organic because you're not getting one person mm. to share that to five hundred people. Not organic. To a I get, I get this point. Organic, basically, I would say organic is zero marketing, zero whatever. You just really see how that song performs. Yep, that's what I believe organic is, right? So if you get a thousand streams, that means you have a big following, right? You have a fan base, right? Without sharing, without letting people know, you just right. Mm. And that's about it. Again, it's all. I think to me, it's all about perspective. There's no right and wrong. It's just we need to address what's happening right now. That these youngins don't know what's happening in youngins. um in uh, We music industry. Fuck, hey. Bro, can I do a fuck? These youngins don't know youngins. shit about streams. So yeah, we're I about know. to go into the OG category. You know how much right? it, you, you know how much it costs to get a thousand plays from fake streaming. Thousand play for fake uh, from fake it? streaming. Hundred ringgit. No. Oh yeah. It's like 30 USD said. Oh. Ah, uh, 30 USD said roughly around that. Oh. Yeah, There's platforms that do that for like a thousand for like a thousand stream is 30 cent. Oh, the Malaysia mahal lah tu. Lazada jual, Lazada jual tu satu ringgit tu. No, but when I was doing research on this, when I was doing research on this, I found like really fucking cheap one. Which like when you think about it, right? Spotify pays like what four dollars for Plus per thousand stream. Yeah, per thousand streams. So if you spend thirty cent to get a thou like a thousand stream, that you're making three seventy. Like an it's like an infinite money glitch. Mm. True. But this is where that's why Spotify uh, implemented this uh, fake stream sort of uh, algorithm, right? But again, like like Russ was sharing, we we, we all we, we all watch that, that that YouTube podcast with Russ on it, right? When he was sharing, they normally fake streams people like who are already big, who are already big, who already have. So they so don't you don't get caught. Correct. Yeah. So you don't get caught. So logically, the algorithm is not going to realize that. Oh, okay, this person used to pull an average about. Thousand plays. All of a sudden, he's pulling a hundred thousand plays. That's automatically a red flag. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But but if what, you're pulling five hundred milli, yeah, and, and then you boost it up to like seven hundred or eight hundred milli, it doesn't really look. It doesn't really look like it's fake stream. Yeah, it's just like yeah. It looks like maybe oh okay, the song maybe went viral on TikTok or mm. went viral on on. Or the song videos. is already big and uh, it's like yeah. it makes sense for it, it to go bigger. People won't question the extra yeah, yeah, yeah. two three hundred mil. No, they won't. They won't. They won't. They won't. If you see 500 mil on the song, it's like, oh yeah, it's really booming. Right? And if you do the math, like you said, 30 cents for a thousand thousand plays, right? If you're talking about a hundred thousand plays, right? Or hundred million plays, how much? Or a million plays. Let's just say. But for million. what? Let's just say a million plays. You're, you're already it, making a profit of three thousand seven hundred dollars. Okay, as in um, what they call that? If you're on the label, if label do it for you, there's a reason they're doing it. Right, maybe it's the CFM because it's ROI. Whatever. But yeah, sure. But if you're an independent artist, uh-huh. and if it's only for the flex, what's the point? It's the same you, with the labels. Labels using it for the flex to 
pushing no, but for it events. Also, it also depends. If you're an independent artist... Uh, not really. Like, Disagree. Label do it because they want to be top of the chain. Right? Which, okay. So what's, they, what's being top of the chain? It's a flag, highest right? Stream, right? Highest stream. And it's a, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's a flag. No, to but, be at the front. Oh, this is my artist. It's got a million streams. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, Pay my artist for shows. Mm-hmm. There's a flex. Right. So, but, okay. but for indie artists, I would say that this could be an outlet to make money because if you're going to invest 30 cents per thousand streams, right? I feel that shit is so unethical. <laughs> that is, a, is so no, fucking no, but, unethical. But Quick what, question. What's, what's happening on Wall Street? <laughs> I don't fucking care. No, but again, <laughs> this is your art. Like, 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 like we said, it depends on perspective. What your goal is. If your goal as an artist is to make money, right? If the money glitch. Yeah. You're, you're not going to do mm. shows. You're not going to do whatever. Right? Then fake stream your way up to the top. Huh? Right? Never but, fucking do shows. But the problem is the moment you do shows and you don't have a fan base. Ah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Yeah. You're fucked. Huh? So you got to, if you want to do the crime, you got to do the time, basically. Right? Oh, yeah. So if you got to do... Yeah. A hundred million streams, you better be able to put out on stage, right? Because you'll get invites. You'll you'll be asked to do radio stations. You'll ask to go to uh, radio interviews. You need to do influencer work, basically show up somewhere. And if you don't have the fan base, your people are not going to hire you. Right? Yep. Right. People will be like, your engagement is too low. And then they start realizing, oh, okay, so how come your Spotify is? Uh, like for example, Lil Baby and the Baby, Spotify is like 30 million, 30 million listeners. Yeah. But you can't get, you can't get a hundred people in a room. Mm. Right? Yeah, man. Uh, but uh, sooner or later you have to come out in real life. Yeah, but you know, labels have found a way to counter that. Just pay motherfuckers to be there. <laughs> One or make the make the hype the artist. Yeah, exactly. No, by using fake, I mean, by using fake followers. No, no, I mean, before this thing happened, it was, uh, what they call that, a gimmick. The stra- strategy was about gimmick. Yeah. Every music video and any upcoming new song uh, going to release, they're going to have a gimmick. But now people, they know that people are not that dumb anymore. Yeah. Right? So they tend to, you know, try to move to something else, which is... Uh, Extremes and now people are really aware amazing. of this. Yeah. So what's next? What's the prediction now? I don't know what's the prediction, but I know one thing though. Spotify allows you to have eighty percent of your songs fake stream. Sure, it's good for them. Like I said, perspective. It's good for their business because they are fighting against Apple. And Music, everyone, everyone is Tidal. like, yeah, yeah. everyone is yeah. pulling into this. Uh, they'll be system. like, hey, the fuck? I have a billion, fifty billion plays in. My right. platform, right? No, but that's Spotify's, Spotify's aspect of it. So I don't think they will cancel. Like, like you said, they won't cancel out fixed things, right? Oh, yeah. They'll be like, I'm going to play a big, big game, right? If I got a bigger dick, Apple cannot challenge me, right? Or Tidal cannot challenge me. That's, so, the, that's the thing. So no, people I mean, will come to my app, they will download my app, they will subscribe to my app instead of Apple Music. Every app. It's like a full circle of everything just being supported by fake streams. But not just that. Fake streams are working hand in hand with a uh, criminal gang. So there's a oh, there's a writing from actually. the star. Well, she went Swedish left. criminal gangs laundering money through Spotify. So criminal gang behind the search of bombing and shootings in Sweden recent years are using fake Spotify stream to launder money. So it's like uh, in their gang they have their own artists. So they, they like pump in. <laughs> you know. I don't think it's even artists. I think Damn, it's just that's, like, that's like the the ultimate crime syndicate baby plan <laughs> of artists. No, but it makes sense <laughs> way, because your returns major. is so yeah. like... Yeah. It's win. Mm. It's a win. Right? And it's clean money too. What you, sure. what the fuck are you going to do? You pay your taxes. That shit is... That shit is legal. Yep. So I, I think now it's already become like campaign oriented like Russ was sharing as well where uh, companies or ad, ad companies, right, mm. reach out to the artist. For example, fee. I give you 8 to 12 weeks. Right? This song, uh, for example, your song comes out for you to gain maybe a million views within this 8 to 12 weeks. And it's only... And guess how much the budget is? Thinking it. <laughs> he says thinking it every fucking thing. Kela <laughs> lima. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Change my two ringgit. I'm broke. What the fuck inflation. you expect? Inflation. Inflation. How much do you think it is? How much do you think it is? For six weeks? 
for 12 weeks. Marketing plan, uh, all this off. shit. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, campur oh, 8% oh. SST, 540. Do it in ringgit so LG get it. I would say uh, 5,565. 5,565 USD. What the fuck? Hey, not USD ringgit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 500, what? 5,565. 5, yeah. For marketing. Yeah. Marketing. <laughs> Looks a bit... So, okay. So, the total cost... If you com- <laughs> it's a bit look, dumb. No, no, no. If you think <laughs> about it, if you, com- if you compare 30 cent... I mean, th- uh, okay, let's translate to ringgit. 30 cent is what? 3 by 5. Okay. 1 ringgit 50, right? If you compare 1 ringgit 50 for 1,000 stream... Mm-hmm. 10 bucks. 5,000 is fucking a lot, <laughs> baby! No, but, but How did you get on 1 ringgit 50 cents? 30 cents per... Per thousand bit. streams. So, my ticket game makes sense lah. <laughs> you got 2,000 streams lah, okay. Right. Uh, what is this? The total cost with marketing plan and everything? Yeah. 60 to 70k US. Damn! Full, full-fledged full marketing plan for you to hit one minute. Yeah, but Fisa, it ring it. Hey, I think... <laughs> yeah. I think that's how they do it, right? I mean, Jeez. big companies pouring... A lot of money on ads only. Yeah, but, right? but this is not only ads. This is like yep. your I mean, fake streams, your, yeah, your yeah. all around, everything, all around, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Sixty to seventy k, right? right? And you get a milli streams. And most of the time, the artist takes back very small amount. Normally, mm-hmm. the label takes back. But in totality, you make close to about two or three times the amount you invested, mm. right? Your not not only your streams, your your shows, your merchandising, your all around, right? You yeah. make back close to about 150k to 200k. So in logic, as a business, why not? Why fucking not? That's returns. In business, it makes sense. Huh? That's the thing. Why fucking not? In business, right? it makes sense. So I agree with you on the perspective part. Because if I'm running a business and if I tell you, okay, Matt, you invest sekarang, you dapat 300% balik. Confirm, 110%. 300% balik. You invest 1 ringgit, you dapat 3 ringgit balik. You nak, you nak? You tell me You tell me lem. In general perspective, if I'm telling you, I can I can put your song and you can earn about two to three times the price you invest in, would you? Yeah, definitely. It depends. Uh, I would make a, you know my own research first. You know. Okay, that, that one is a personal preference. Ah. Yeah. But if generally... Sure. Right? Without a doubt, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I say, yeah, 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 yeah take yeah. my thousand dollars. Yeah. Sure. No, I mean, we, we're talking perspective of new artists yang tak tahu apa, yang masuk label terus sign. Yang, oh shit, I'm popping, 100 million uh, streams. Yeah, they don't know shit, right? No, I so, mean, they look at the numbers as a way to say that I'm famous, mm. right? I got the most streams on Spotify, I got this, I got that. Mm. Generally, I would say that even even the most streams on Spotify, what was her name? UG. Oh, uh, UG. UG, UG, UG and Putri Not Not to shit on UG or whatever, I, I get that they're independent. How sure are you there were not no fake streams in that song? Sure, and that's the numbers. thing though, fake streams don't, could just not just come from you. Well, your friends can fucking do it for you. True. If you are really psycho about UG, right? I would spend a thousand bucks and say, hey, you know, pump up this song. True. Right? Yeah. Give him, I, I want him to achieve this title or whatever. Right? So in a way, it can help. It can also ruin the artist. Oh yeah, in the long yeah. term, definitely. Long term, definitely. Right? Yeah. Because because this, is, this is what happens, right? Really. Or call ego this, 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 or, this. or 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 co- you're put in fucking playlists that are weird as hell because you're fake streaming yeah they don't, they don't recommend you to like artists that are like you because like someone from china is streaming you you understand what I mean? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah because it's stream farm because it'll fuck up your it'll fuck up your algorithm as an artist 